Right, let's get some expert money-saving advice about the TV license today, shall we? Hi, me again, and it seems to be a bit of a series on this channel now, doesn't it, where I'm finding advice from major publications about the television license fee and what you can do about it. And I give them a score. I give them a score. I think the Sun's winning at the moment. Didn't they get a nine or a nine and a half, the Sun? And they expressed it, and I think they got a six or a six and a half the other day. Was it a three and a half? I don't know. I've got quite a few of these now. But this one, I've got some high hopes for. Now, as always, I haven't read all of this because I want to react to it the same way you'd react to it. I've just skimmed it a bit to make sure we can talk about it. So we're on Money Saving Expert today, and it's Do I Need a TV License? So, point number one. If you watch TV as it's being broadcast, you need a TV license. And then the highlight there is, the rule is whether you're watching live TV on a television computer, tablet, game, game, smartphone, or any other device, you'll need to be covered by a TV license. However, you do not need a TV license if you only watch content after it's been shown on television, unless it's on iPlayer. Oh, top marks so far. Right at the top, top marks. Oh, can I have that? Yeah, that's a rare occurrence. But yeah, fair dues. Only watch catch-up TV, you don't have to pay unless you're watching BBC iPlayer. You only need a TV license if you watch or record TV as it's been broadcast or use iPlayer. If you only ever use other catch-up sites, you don't need one. Full marks again, so we're running 10 out of 10. At the minute, first two points, we're running 10 out of 10. I like it. How do I cancel my TV license? If you're sure you no longer need a license, you can formally let TV licensing know, although there is no obligation to do this. It says doing so will prevent an increased number of letters coming your way. I've got a sneaky feeling whoever wrote this actually did some research and watched some videos on here, not necessarily mine, but some other videos, or maybe mine, you know, because that is actual proper, inf we're still running 10 out of 10, I cannot believe this. You need a license to record live TV on any device, yeah, that's correct. You don't need a license for watching on-demand content online apart from iPlayer, again, correct. If you don't pay, you could face a thousand pound fine, right, let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at this one and see if they're going to tell us the truth here. Where are we? Watching live TV without a license is against the law. TV licensing has enforcement officers that carry out checks. Fee dodgers can face prosecution plus a fine of up to £1,000 if they're found to be watching live TV or iPlay without a license. You cannot be imprisoned for TV license evasion itself, although you can be imprisoned for non-payment of the fine. So yeah, okay, you can't go to prison for not paying a TV license, you'll go to prison for not paying the fine. The maximum is £1,000 very rarely given out. I wish they'd put that there. The average fine is around 170 quid, which ain't far off the cost of a license, is it? But remember, the only way you can get that fine is by talking to their enforcement officers. If you just shut the door and say, no, thank you, no fine can come your way. It's not possible because they don't have any evidence to fine you. Wish they'd put that in there. Should I dock them a point for that? Yeah, I'm gonna take them down to nine. I'm gonna take them down to nine points for this, but it's still very high, let's keep going. So a trick for students to watch live TV and use iPlayer without a license yet. I've covered that before. That's all good. Check if you're due a refund. That's cracking. Some are eligible for a cheaper license if you're over 75 or if you're blind. And one part I like about this is right at the end where they talk about paying for it. Save by paying the right way. For example, don't pay by quarterly direct debit. They've left the paying for it right till the end. And normally when you see these in the paper, the paying for it's the first bit because they get their information sent to them by a PR agency that works with TV licensing. So it's gonna be skewed information, right? This seems like someone's actually put the work in. It's a big website, Money Saving Expert, and people do turn to it for a lot of stuff, including TV licensing stuff. So I'm glad, it's really good that they've, they've put this amount of effort in. This is proper, proper information. Oh, hang on. If you don't pay, TV licensing can check. TV licensing's database of around 31 million addresses is the main tool for catching evaders. And it claims to catch an average of over a thousand people watching without a license every day. I fail to see that. I don't believe that's a thousand a day. A thousand a day, that's 365,000 people a year. Good maths, right? I've got me GCSE and everything. I did, I did. If TV licensing believes you're watching live TV or using iPlayer without a license, inquiry officers may pay you a visit. They can't enter your home without permission, but can apply for a search warrant to do so. But you can't get a search warrant unless you have reasonable suspicion or some evidence to support that somebody is doing something wrong. So if they come to your door, say, hello, I'm from TV Licensing, you go, no thanks, and you shut the door. They can't get a warrant. No warrant will be issued for that. That's all you have to do. Don't be scared by this. And then, ah, I'm going to dock them a lot of points for this section. Look at this next bit. 
They may also use detection equipment such as vans and handheld detectors. However, TV licensing won't go into exactly how its detection methods work. It says, we would not want to reveal information useful to potential evaders. I love that. That's a great sentence from TV licensing there. We would not want to reveal information useful to potential evaders because we don't have detection equipment. And if we actually said that, more people would evade. There's no such thing. Uh, I, I scored a video on it. I'll try and dig the link out. It's one of my old videos where I think it was like the early 90s. I think it was like 93 or something. They were a camera crew from America followed around some TV license enforcement officers. Oh, it was hilarious. They had one of them stupid little portable aerials with a beeping machine. And they're pointing at a block of flats going, yeah, someone up there is watching telly. It's a bloody block of flats, mate. Call someone up there is watching telly. What are you doing? They don't have detection equipment. They did have vans, don't get me wrong. They did have vans with TV licensing and detection equipment written on the side and a silly thing on the top. But they were empty. They were just there to scare people into pain, to think that you could be detected. You never once could. And how do I know this? I'm not a TV licensing insider. How can I possibly know this information? I don't. But I can tell you one thing. In all the prosecutions, and there's, sadly there's been tens of thousands of prosecutions for TV licensing issues over the years, right? And in every single one of those prosecutions, never, never has evidence been given by detection equipment. Not once. Do you know how they find out you're doing something you shouldn't be doing? It's when they knock on your door and people talk to them. They run their mouth. If you just shut the door, that's it. There is no investigation. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to dock and point. I'm going to have to dock and point and I'm doing so well. I like it's buried at the bottom, but I've got I've got to dock your points, money saving expert. I've got to. Even if you pay for Sky Verge, you still need to cough up, blah blah blah. Anything else worth talking about on here? Using other BBC websites don't require a license. Renters need a license. Lodgers don't. You may need a separate license if you have a second home. Listening to the radio doesn't require a license. I'll give you some points back. Watching live foreign TV in the UK does require a license. Yeah. Again, true information. They've put the work in. They have put the work in, and there's a lot of really good, useful information in there. And I understand why they've had to put stuff about the detection equipment and that in there. They've got to toe the line, right? But it's not true. It's not true. It's just not. So let's have a thing. What score shall we give them? They were doing so well, and it's upset me, this detection equipment bit in there. I wanted to give them a really high score. I think, to be fair, I think we've got to give them a seven. What do you reckon? Let me know what your score for this is down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.